Hello, this is Christian. Welcome to another course with me. In this video, we're going to create a really simple Express.js application using the handlebars templated system. So let's go and check it out. Here is the site that we'll be converting. Uh, this is already created. If you remember back in Unit 1, you created this already. Uh, yours may be different from mine, but just a really simple a personal site. have like four pages here. And so we're going to convert this to an express application using handlebars to you know render data to the view but uh, here is the site on the handlebars website if you go there to handlebarsjs.com has their own uh, documentation I mean it's not that really helpful here it's a really light documentation unfortunately but um, yeah, go over look over that and see how it works and uh, explore on the the built-in helpers you you're probably using the if um, a statement the uh, each statement uh, for looping through an array okay you can loop through an object uh, using uh, using a um, the width or each it also either one will, be, will actually also work but mainly those are the ones you'll be using so yeah you can always um, you know refer back to this page to help you with the syntax okay so uh, let's go and uh, convert this to express so here on the IDE, this is the one that we have, the unit one. As you can see, all, everything here is just HTML. Okay, so we have the index page, the portfolio page, and <clears throat> and so on. Okay, so first things first, let's go and create. Let me close all these first. Let's create a new um, folder in here. We'll call it unit six now, and then let's go to the command terminal, Control J, get you there really quick. Go to unit six, and then npm init right um, you can just um, you know accept all the default which is fine we're just gonna do that really quickly okay we got that in here already good all right so now we need to install express and some packages so npm install um, we want the express and then the express uh, handle bars um, we also want the uh, no monitor um, and the body parser just in case I think that's all we need so let's go ahead and then we can put we can save it to the um, development so those can install those packages we need now Express of course you can use uh, different templating engine besides the handlebars the reason why I chose handlebars is because Later on, when we learn about Angular, then you'll already be very familiar with the syntax because it uses the same a pair of Adelo double curly braces. Okay, so I think everything looks good here. Um, yeah, well, yeah, it looks good. Okay, all right. So we have our um, node there. Good. Let's go and create um, some folders. Okay, for handlebars to work, you have to create some folders in here. Well, first of all, let's create the public folder first. It's full of our CSS and um, you know images and graphics, things like that. So create another one. This will be called the views. Okay, you need a views for to house your templates. Inside the view, you need two more folders. One is called the layouts, plural. And then you need another one called uh, partials. I mean, oh, it shouldn't be inside that. Kind of difficult to to see here okay so you see that they have the views layouts and then the partials okay so the uh the partials will be used mainly for like um you know you render um partial views like uh, like navigations or the footer or things like that and you put into that uh that folder okay so we we got that there okay um uh, let's see now to get started we need to have a lay in the layouts you need to have a root template okay so you must have a root template uh, to render all your component uh, which is why um, you know we have this thing called single single page application right so it will render into that single template so here inside the layouts create a file and you can call it whatever you want but I'll call it um, just index and the dot HBS okay for handlebars we use this short extension. The long extension is you spell the whole word out, handlebars. So that's pretty long. Um, 
And, and so I think uh, maybe initially it was handlebars, but uh, maybe over several revisions, they shorten it to just HBS. You can say use the long version. I'll show you what that means in a little, a little bit later. So this is our main page, all right? The, the root uh, template. And then the partials, we're gonna create some partials in here for like, uh, you know, the navigations and the footers and any, any, any partial pieces or any partial view you wanna inject into the main template, then you can do that here. Or in, in other templates, you do that here, okay? And then in the views template, in the views, you have to also create another uh, main template. Uh, let's go into the view and create another file. We'll call this just uh, main.hbs, okay? This is the main template. And what, what it will do is that it's going to render this main template inside the index, the, the root template. That's that's what you're trying to do here. So later on, we're going to have like the main uh, template, the home template, the about, you know, portfolio and uh, contact and so on. So all your main, main views will be here and then they'll be rendered inside this main or the root template. All right. Okay. So uh, for now, let's um, go ahead and create our uh, index file. So in the root of this unit six folder here, create a file called index.js. Okay, again, the reason I call it index is because in our JSON file, we call it index, the main. Okay, if you change to something else, then just make sure you match that. And so later on, when you run the no monitor, it will know which one to load. So here we go. We can create our application. And again, um, I don't think I showed you before, but there is a shortcut in Express. You could just basically, um, there's another package in Express that will actually let you, uh, you know, scaffold all of these together using a, a CLI command. But you'll learn that later. But for now, I think I want you to know how 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 things work, right? what are the pieces and where they are located and things like that. So you learn um, the hard way, I guess. But it's going to stick with you. Okay, so again, this is really the um, standard express. We're going to require the express package. We need that. <clears throat> Oops. We need a um, app, instantiate express app. We just do the body parser. We may not this may not need this, but um, should you ever need it, like later, if you want to process data from you know that from the view then you can parse that but it's always good to put it here just in case and then we need to have the handlebar so i'll just call my ex p for express hps for handlebar okay so um just a variable name you call it whatever you want so this will be the handlebar handlebars uh package express handlebars okay so that's our uh, constant data up there. Now we need to go ahead and um, use the static. This is the link to our public folder, right? So our CSS and images and JavaScript will go into that file, will be pulled from that directory. And then now we need to set the um, body parser. So uh, we we'll use body parser. Oops, not on subscribe. Use body parser and <clears throat> load the JSON and app, uh, and then use the body parser. This time I want to use the URL in code. So again, the extended is equal to for true. All right, so those are pretty basic. And then now we just have to go ahead and then create the port number and so constant port, I put uh, a 900 for mine. And then we're gonna go ahead and listen to this port, port. And then we'll also um, do a, you can do it this way or you can just console log it, it doesn't matter. Okay, so just log it, just make a short, just say listening to port or to server. And then we'll put our link here. Port um, 8900. I hard coded in here, but you want to use a variable name really. Um, yeah, let's just let's just use the variable name. Use the template in here. I want to make sure my things work every time. Okay. So that's 
up and running and then we just had to make sure it's really working so let's go ahead and add a here at the landing page okay just to test it out so app.get is the root directory and then again here is the request and response arrow function and we just do a really simple here just response send hello if that works then we are good to go okay so let's save this and go back to the terminal control j and then now let's run it type in node mon and there we go and then you just click on this control click and it should load on the browser i believe there it is so you can see hello here then it looks kind of small but if you see it then that means we are good to go all right so now let's go and create our handlebars um, set up our handlebars okay so <clears throat> we can close this now Le keep this running all right so the first thing is we need to set our handlebars so here i put here um handlebars setting okay so we need to say app.set we set the engine the view engine we this we need to say hbs okay this is the short version if it's if you want to use a long version i mentioned earlier you have to hold, use the whole thing a handle bars like that and then your your file will have the extension of you know main dot handlebars which is why i say kind of long so we use a short version and and we use that uh, package instead so with that set and then we need to um, call the engine this engine here we use again the hbs uh, and then the express uh, handlebar this uh, object here xphbs this one takes a um, an object okay so as an object just some some settings we want to set some settings in here and for this to work now by default it would use the long version the handlebars so if you want to use a short version then you have to set the uh, property called ext name or extension name to hbs so in here you put xt name and then set that to the hbs so that will recognize that okay and also you want to set a default layout so right now if you don't set a default layout um it's gonna um, run a main layout so we don't want so i mean ideally you want to set default layout so that every time when you render something to the view you don't have to specify that every time okay so we want to say the default layout is equal to the index okay the index here refers to the layouts index that hbs okay this is the main layout and the default layout so that every time we render to that layout it's going to call this of course you can override it too if you want to but this will be the default layout now two other um, other properties that you can set you don't have to i think it will it will automatically know that the layouts all your layouts um i mean the the um you know the index and these the default layouts will be uh, coming from the layouts folder if your your main views will be coming from the views folder and then the partials will be coming from the partials folder so just make sure these are named correctly here uh, if you don't you know uh, modify them but if you do name them differently like uh, you know my layout or you know uh, my partials whatever it is you have a different name then you should go in here and change them to a different layout so here you have a layout directory you can point that to that directory for example i mean it's, it's safe to do this uh, you don't have to but you can it just means that the layouts will be coming from this views folder layouts that's the layout and then you duplicate that and the next one is the partials directory okay and this will be in the partials okay again this is optional if you don't change the layouts or the partials then this is the default setup if you do move this around then you want to go in here and then override the default to wherever these these are so i can leave this here just just to make sure that it's it's working all right i think that's it for this part now let's go and then um for this part of the video why don't we go ahead and then just set up the main layout and then we'll be done with that for now so go and open the unit one and the index page okay this is the 
this is the layout. So I'm going to copy everything here, copy the whole thing, go to the um, index.hbs and repaste everything here. Okay, so everything here should stay the same. The only thing is that we have to go and create some CSS and JS main, and then I have a logo here as well, right? So we're going to move those in here. So inside our public folder, um, you can just copy like these here. You can copy uh, the CSS, the uh, image, and the JS. Copy those three, and then paste it right into the public folder here. And so you have your CSS, images, and all in here, okay? And this will be all mapped uh, directly into that folder because we set that inside an index, right? We say all the static data are coming from the public folder, all right? So it's going to go in here, public, and then, um, you know, CSS, and then you make CSS and so forth. So images, it's all set up. Okay, so now this is the uh, index. So what I want to do is this. Okay, so the main, the main here, this is like the, you treat this like the landing page, the home page. So this is a template. What that means is that inside this template here, I'm going to, here's the main content here, right? This is the main content from here all the way to here. Okay, I'm going to cut all these out and put it inside the main template here. Okay, this is the main content. Uh, and then just right click and reformat re this code. So I'll put that in here, and then its place right in here. I'm going to put the three curly braces followed by the word body. Okay, this is the placeholder. This is where all your views will be rendered into this location here. You see that later on when we learn about Angular, it will be very similar. You use a, a root tag. Same thing for other frameworks like Vue, JS, Ember, and, and so forth. They use similar syntax or logic. So that means that when we load, we're going to render everything in the main HBS to this location here, and everything here will be static. Okay, so what if we, what if you need to be uh, visible on every single page you put outside of this uh, these uh, tags, all right? And um, so ideally, you want to break this out right here to a navigation. I mean, to a like a, a header, a partial view, and then a footer partial view. Actually, we, we, we could do that right now, actually. So yeah, go to the uh, partials, and then create uh, two files. We'll call this just um, header.js. Uh, Oops, no, not, not JM, sorry. It'll be um, HBS. It needs to be HBS. Header.hbs, and then we'll, we'll do one more for the footer, footer HBS. Okay, so let's go back into the index and copy the header, we'll cut it out and put it into the header HBS. Okay, and then just format that, <clears throat> save that, and then the footer, save into the footer, we'll format that, and save and close those now. Okay, so in their place, right? And here we had a partial template. So for a partial template, you will use this syntax, the uh, two curlies, and then follow up with the open um, the close bracket with the forward bracket and then follow by the name of the template it's called header okay you put a header here the main content and then the footer goes right down here so here footer and then that's it so that is our root template okay so you can see that all your scripts are in the root css in the root and um, the header will be rendered here the body the main will be rendered here. The about page will render here. Okay, so the dynamic content will be rendered into this body. So we got this set up, and then now let's go to the index.js file and modify this landing page. Now, when you use template, we're not going to use the send or the send file. We use a special function called render. Okay, so this render here takes, uh, um, you know, a, the first one, two parameters or a couple parameters. But mainly you just need two parameters. The first one is the name of that template. So ours is called main. Okay. So it's going to load the main template. Um, notice I, I don't put the extension, that HBS. You just don't include those. So it's going to load the main template. And then using that, so it's going to find the views folder. Look for a main uh, template. 
and then it's going to render everything that's in a main template to this default uh, layout called index inside this body. That's what it, it's going to do, all right? And then if you want to pass some data to it, then you put it into another here, another object here. And we'll learn about data processing in the next uh, video. But for now, there's nothing there, so you can just leave it like, just like that. Okay, let's see if this works. And you can save that and go to the uh, browser and uh, see if you get something here. Okay, so there you see that now looks pretty good, right? Looks just like our um, regular HTML page. If you compare that the two, it looks exactly the same, okay? Except now it's an express application and this is an HTML, uh, just HTML file. You go to the home page, okay? Because everything here stays intact. Um, and that is the express. And just to show that it really does work, we can do one more thing before we close this video. So again, uh, we can pass a data, very simple data uh, for now. Just put here um, message and then the message will be, hi, hi there, okay, the message. And then in the main file, let's just put like right above here so I can see, uh, right below here, we put a h2 and we'll put here uh, call message, that's the variable name. And we'll save that. And let's go back to the view again and refresh. Make sure you're on the right page. And there you see, hi there, right? It's rendered to the view. So that is how it works. So in the next video, we're gonna uh, complete the other templates and we'll pass the data to uh, those templates.